Hey everyone, welcome to part 6 of the X-Ray T4 2014 build series. In part 6 what we will be doing is assembling the rest of the suspension system. Uh, that's not including the shock absorbers, that'll be in another video. Um, <clears throat> now, what I've done is I've gone ahead and built three of the four corners of the chassis. Um, mainly, as I always say, this is just to save on time of filming because, quite frankly, it's going to take too long if I did each individual part. Um, what I've done is I've left the front left corner un unfinished um, as this is probably the most is more complicated not so much more complicated but there's just a little bit more assembly required so I'll go through that part with you as opposed to the rear um, as you can see I've built the sides um, also with the rear I have done the sway bar assembly as well and I've also um, so that's all built um, one of the things I've done too to purely save on time as I've done one of the camber links, or all, all, all the camber links, so this is, they're quite straightforward to assemble, just follow the instructions on the length required, <clears throat> so it's not, it's not going to be uh, uh, too hard to understand if you're building it, when you're building it, um, so what we'll do is we'll get into it. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll get our steering knuckle and put the bearings in. Just be careful, you'll feel it click in. It is, it is a snug fit. Now, when you're putting one of the bearings in, it helps just to get part of the drive shaft assembly and, <clears throat> excuse me, just to push it in like so. And you just push that out again. So that's that bit done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build the CVD. So we'll just get the parts necessary for it. Uh, we don't need that bit yet. <clears throat> we'll need a grub screw. Then we'll need some graphite grease, some thread lock, and a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, so first of all what we'll do We'll get a little bit of this graphite grease. Don't need a lot. You just need a little bit to grease the inside a little bit there. And a little bit on the outside. It's purely just to lubricate it and prevent wear. Okay, so we'll put that, put the next little part in. And make sure it lines up. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what we'll do is we'll get our kingpin. Now, with the kingpin, pay attention as it has a little flat spot um, grooved into it. And that's for the grub screw to sit in to stop it from moving around and slipping out. So we'll just put it through this little part here. And then we'll line it up. Well, put it through the wrong section. <coughs> Silly me. go and we'll put that flat there okay now what we'll do is we'll get some thread lock <coughs> excuse me folks I've got a bit of a tick on the throat <coughs> okay get our grub screw little thread lock not a lot we'll put it in and just nip it tight doesn't you have to get it and really crank on it because uh, don't forget the thread lock will hold that in place. 
Now what we do is you just spin it like that just to get all the graphite grease around it. So we just spin it on an angle like that. That way it moves all the grease around. Now what we'll do is we'll place it in the steering knuckle. Now we'll get our next kingpin. Put that through there. Now we'll get our wheel hex. And uh, there's a little screw. Turn it on so it clamps down on the axle. And there we have it. So that's this part done. Now. <coughs> oh boy. Okay, so now we have to we have the C hub. We'll put that through just there for the time being. Now you have um, like little uh, eyelets. They just fit through. Pay attention because one's short and one's long. Short one goes up for the at the top. Now we just slide it in carefully. Okay. Now we get one of our screws. Now we need our two millimeter uh, Allen driver. Now it takes a little bit just to find the hole. Just gotta try and get it to line up. Of course it is going to fight me this whole the whole way now. And of course I put <laughs> I put this in backwards so So just as well, I didn't screw it in. There we go. There we go. And as always, as the broken record that I am, don't do it too tight, as you will strip, strip the thread and just move it around. Might just need to back it off a little bit. There we go. Okay. Next part, what we will be doing is we'll be attaching the little uh, pillow balls to the to the camber link. Now, just pay attention to the orientation, and with multi grips here, just plot them on. There we go. And the next one. Ah, nearly broke my finger. Okay. So that's that done. Now what we'll do is we'll get the chassis and we'll need a kingpin. So we'll just Put that into the drive cut there. And it slots in. Kingpin in. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Need a Grab screw and our 1.5 millimeter Allen Allen wrench. 
Boy, I'm driver, I keep getting those mixed up. And when you screw it in, as soon as you feel it nip, just back it off a smidge. And there we go, so that's that part. Now we need two metal washers. And for this part here, we need some thread lock as well. <sighs> Butterfingers. Okay, now I'm gonna put that candle link. Yeah, do it. Okay, now pay attention uh, with the pillar balls. One is short, one is long. So the short one goes onto the main part of the chassis. Just get our washer and our two and a half millimeter driver. Nip it tight. Same again, just without thread lock. Okay, now we have a little eyelet here. This will go into the steering link. Again, multi grips. Like so. And a washer. Same one. No. Another washer. Okay, now we have a screw. Go around the wrong way, put this through first. Actually, it might help if I flip this over. Put it through, then the washer. Screw it in. Now you can do it, you nip it till it's tight, you don't need to back it off. Okay, now the next part we do, we'll just move that over there for the moment. Uh, we have the sway bar assembly. Just undo that a bit. First of all, assemble the eye, put it through the little link. Clicks in like that. Quite straightforward. Okay, just tighten it up. Now, I'll bring the chassis over again. Clear the mess out of the way. Okay, so what we'll do, put that through. Now I'm going to have to use ordinary pliers for this. end so if you can't see it folks
we go. Yeah, it snaps into place. Okay. Okay, now the next part, we put the little sway bar holder in. Got to remove that bit of flashing. Just check the next one. Careful when using this, folks, so you don't cut yourself. There we go. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward this bit. The thread lock again because it is going into metal. Don't need a lot. Again, little thread lock. The reason why I say only a little thread lock because um, some some of you guys might need to tune a lot if you don't travel to a lot of tracks um, I mean you can just use the same setup but some tracks may have a lot of grip some might have next to no grip so you'll need to adjust sway bars and so forth which means you'll need to um, undo the screws quite regularly so now we just put the little grab screw in, do it so it's flush with the top there, because what it is, it's just pushing down, just touching the sway bar itself. There we go. Okay, so now what we do is you test it. Now, as you can see, the suspension arm is staying up so I just have to adjust something uh, I'll do that off camera so that folks is pretty much the suspension all done and the steering so yeah that's it's done to come along isn't it so stay tuned for part 7 where let's see what we'll be doing in part 7 huh. we'll be starting the assembly of the shocks so stay tuned for that